Hello, good afternoon, LinkedIn. Welcome to Depth Camera Central, Volume 22. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Ultra Leap Stereo uh, Infrared 170 degree field of view uh, sensor. And compared to the old one that they actually call this one Rigel, you can actually see it right here. It is a beautiful sensor. This is the same uh, platform that is embedded into the Qualcomm XR2 uh, fifth generation. They call it the Gemini hand tracking software. Uh, um, system. This is the fourth generation Orion uh, Beta 2.0 and what I wanted to show you guys here and, and we've talked about this year with hand tracking and all these touchless types of interfaces but we've seen from the pandemic and all these different issues right now a lot of the vectors for transmission are from your hands. You're constantly touching your hands, you're touching your face, you're touching food and if you if you could actually see how much bacteria was on your phone it would, it would frighten you to death. So what I, I actually wanted to review this which I thought was fascinating because every different type type of ecosystem, healthcare, education specifically, but even in hospice and elderly care type of, type of situations and in transportation at the airports. How many times are you touching those kiosks? It drives me crazy. I'm not a germaphobe, but I'm slowly becoming one. But let me show you this. This is a touchless interface that Ultraleap actually developed here. And you can see right here, this is the sensor. This is the, the fourth generation sensor, Rigel. Uh, and this is the older sensor here. So watch my hand here. You can actually see it. And I'm, all, all I'm gonna do is just press in ah. ever so slightly and it should go up. And this is basically an elevator proof of concept. Doors and try to open. think, you use your imagination here, all the different applications, uh, you know, th throughout different types of business Please sectors. How many level. different times a day are you using your hands to touch interfaces? You know, at the grocery store, you, you, you're doing it on the checkout, uh, at Best Buy, um, anytime you're going shopping somewhere, anytime you're traveling somewhere, you're using your hands, you're touching these interfaces. And I think these types of uh, infrared systems, you know, I think this is a class one laser at 850 nanometers, the, the LiDAR system, the Intel L515 around 860, it's a vertical cavity, vertical cavity service emitting laser. But these systems are extraordinary and the embedded sensors that are going to be all over the world, billions and billions and billions of them all over these kinds of systems will replace these uh, all of these displays. It'll replace everything we have in heads-up displays and everything is going to be coming into spatial computing. But what I also wanted to show you guys today was the Mixed Reality Toolkit 2.5 because it also integrates Ultra Leap hand tracking. How fascinating is that? It's unbelievable. So if you have an HMD, if you have a VR headset, uh, and you, again, we're referencing the uh, design from Qualcomm, the XR2, all of those systems will have 25-point a neural network AI driven hand tracking just like the, the Microsoft HoloLens and on an older HoloLens 1.0 you can import this new mixed reality to, uh, toolkit 2.5 and apply it to the older system so I always love getting more out of older products I find that to be uh, an unbelievable concept but you can see this right here and I think you know for 100 to 300 dollars you can you can create a touchless interface and really mitigate any type of, of, of these type of transmissible transmissible vectors um, in, in these types of situations. Let's jump in and take a look at the Mixed Reality Toolkit 2.5. The first one I'm gonna do is actually the Mars Rover with the joysticks. Thank you so much, let's dive in. Stop. Welcome back LinkedIn. This is the Mixed Reality Toolkit 2.5. This is the joystick example. This example scene demonstrates essentially how to move, scale, and rotate large objects. I don't know if you're like me, but I've always dreamed of teleoperating a robot or some large research platform on another planet. Elon Musk, if you're listening, please give me a call, sir. I'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, let's take a look at this system here on some of the move and rotate stuff. Uh, they have move speed, scale speed, rebound speed, sensitivity. Uh, this is really an amazing type of integration and visualization for scientists and researchers and, and all kinds of people around the world to see what is truly possible with spatial computing. As I referenced previously, the Ultra Leap 5th generation Gemini system on the Qualcomm XR2 enables hand tracking across an, an, a, tons of different types of products that will be coming out in the next six months. Again, the Ultra Leap 5th generation system is integrated there, the HoloLens 1, HoloLens 2, um, also the Oculus Quest 2, which is coming in later today. I'm really excited about that. But this system is integrating a lot of new experimental features. This joystick system is experimental. They also have an elastic system, which is experimental. Uh, they, they have a bounds control, which graduated to full feature. Um, and there's a lot of other different things like scrolling object collection, which has graduated to full features and many other things within the system. I highly recommend you go out and download it today. Uh, the, uh, you can download the Mixed Reality Toolkit Hub for free on the, the Microsoft Store. It does not integrate this particular 2.5, I believe that version is 2.3, which came out in May. 
please upgrade that so everyone can give it a shot. But what we want to see here is you can actually see that you can move and scale and do all kinds of different stuff with these things. It, essentially, as, as you were teleoperating this from some you know far off position, imagine, oh, there we go. We can actually move this thing all the way around. Look at that. So imagine, uh, you know, in the future, five, six, seven years down the road, uh, you know, your job when you check in in the morning is to essentially log in with your VR headset and drive these huge, massive robotic platforms all over the place. Now that's amazing. That's the next level. That is the future and it is right around the corner. There's no doubt about it. Uh, all, all this pandemic, all these things have accelerated the future. 10 years and less than six months. I've been saying that online. Robert Scoble and I have talked a lot about that premise exactly. Uh, not even in autonomous navigation, uh, looking at LiDAR and all these different sensors, all these depth sensors, all the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. All of these things are coming together at the exact same time. And it's amazing. For somebody who grew up in the 80s playing Atari and Nintendo and seeing, seeing all these things evolve and improve uh, you know, over you know just a very short period of time, man, it, it is an unbelievable uh, you know, technological paradigm that we are living in right now. And I'm so grateful that I get to share some of this technology with you all, so that you can see it, so you can take it home to your organizations and potentially even improve uh, you know uh, certain types of proof of concepts or things that you're working on personally or professionally. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this today. Uh, I, this is only one of the examples in the mixed reality toolkit. There's over 25 that I was that I was testing earlier today, and I'll keep going through. There's a few bugs in Visual Studio. They have a workaround posted on the mixed reality toolkit website. Thank you so much for tuning in to uh, Depth Camera Central Volume 22 today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.